guys, Moshe the Electric Israeli is here and thank you for joining. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for all my supporters. And here we go again. Uh, here's a tweet from Elon Musk. It's part of a big long conversation he had online with some people asking all kinds of questions. And it is about the full self drive. Looks like July 1, July 1. Uh, looks like it's gonna go again by a thousand dollars. It was five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand now, and it's probably gonna go to eight thousand in, Ju in July. Uh, let me just go quickly over the main features, and, <clears throat> and then I'll tell you what I have, and what I think it's good, and what I think it's not so good. Uh, so if you just have an autopilot, regular autopilot, basically you get adaptive cruise control, and you and you can move over that's not uh, autopilot. You can move over from line to line uh, and uh, if you put your indicator, it will do it after you put the indicator. It's very good, it works well. Uh, a full self-drive feature, uh, it used to have a, a, another iteration of it, it's called uh, Enhanced Autopilot. And uh, it has a lot of stuff that full uh, self-drive has, but not all. So a full self-drive will have, let's say, navigate an autopilot where you put the address and it will take you on and off the ramps, exit, move lane by itself and all that. You have summon, you can get your car to come to you from a parking spot. It has parallel parking uh, a, and, it, a, and it will have eventually, it will have eventually, that's what they're saying now, uh, recognize a stop sign, recognize um, uh, a, a traffic lights, and eventually will do city drives uh, autonomously, and down, 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 down the road, it will have a, what we call robot taxi, when it will do the whole thing by itself without a driver. So that's what it has. So let me go through them, let me tell you what's good, because I am the master of autopiloting. I drive so much, interstate and I use it all the time. So it's good, it's great, it's awesome, it's fantastic, it's ter terrific. Now, the autopilot, whether it's navigator an autopilot or regular autopilot, it's good, it's very safe, it's very comforting, but it has its features, it can't, it has its faults. It can, you cannot let it do everything, you have to interfere, okay? Sometimes it reads, a, it reads um, uh, uh, speed limits wrong and it slows down abruptly, Sometimes it confuses um, uh, uh, shadows of overpasses as to be a car, as to be a truck, and it then slows down. Uh, it doesn't respond to glare. It will dis disable uh, for glare, or if it's a big snowstorm or even a big rainstorm, it will not work so much. So it's good, it's excellent, but that's, it's not 100%, okay? The parallel parking, it's great, it's nice. You know, I do better job and much faster, but I let it do, it's just to show off. Uh, summon, <laughs> going back and forth, like the regular summon, going, going back and forth, pull your car forward, pull your car out of a parking spot, it's fantastic, it's really good. But bringing it from a parking spot, it's a gimme. It's, it's not that good. It's not that good at all. It just goes different direction, it's not that good. Is it, is, will it be better? It will be better. Uh, navigate an autopilot, like I said to you, it can have its issues, but it's good. I, I have to say, it's, 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 it's terrific. Uh, no, uh, no, no, nothing, not too much to complain about, really. Now, stop, stop sign, traffic lights, all these things, uh, driving in cities, that would be great, but that will take a long time. The point I'm trying to make you, I got the enhanced autopilot in my Model 3 way back, which was a $5,000, uh, or $3,000, I don't even remember anymore how much, I think it was five grand. Uh, now I can have an option of upgrading to full self drive for four thousand dollars if I want right now. I haven't done it and I will not do it. I will not do it until I see that it's working and it's good and people show and if it's really worth it later on I will do it. So if you get the full self drive right now, if you have autopilot to get a full self drive right now for seven thousand, you will get uh, uh, what enhanced autopilot has as of <coughs> as of now. You will get navigate an autopilot. You will get summon. You will get parallel park. You will get those uh, features. Uh, and I'm not saying they're bad. They're very good. But is it worth seven thousand? Is it worth eight thousand? That it's coming? I don't know about that. I mean, I use autopilot 99% of the time. 99. Summon. I used it once for a video I made. Uh, pull up summon like the regular summon, not the enhanced summon. The regular summon back and forth. That's I use. That's nice. 
will I survive with that? Probably I will. So, and that's gonna go to $8,000. That's a lot of money. And, and you know, Elon Musk, God bless him, he's awesome, he's great. Uh, Tesla cars were supposed to go coast to coast in 19, not in 19, in, in 2000, what, 15, 16? We're now 2017, now we're now 2020. I'm not saying we're not gonna get there, but it's a long time from now. So, I, for my Model Y that I pre-ordered and the Cybertruck that I pre-ordered, I did not option for a, a full self-drive. I just, autopilot is fine, it's great, I love it, it's, it's, it's just a lot of money. So you guys, if you use it, if you're using autopilot or navigate an autopilot, did you buy full self-drive? What do you think about it? Give me some feedback, have a little conversation. Thank you for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.